Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review Sex and Sen 3 from 1998. This is a Hong Kong erotic movie. We follow a woman who's sold to a brothel where she meets two other whores who take her under their wings. But one of them becomes jealous of her when a man she likes falls for the new woman. And she has decided to take revenge one day. This is the third movie in the Sex and Sen series. Sex and Sen 2 was just rubbish and I expected a lot of the same shit when I sat down to watch Sex and Sen 3. The movie isn't great. But it's at least better than Sex and Sen 2. When it comes to the sex scenes, there's not much exciting to see here. Women are treated like toys, but the creativity is lacking during the sex scenes. The highlight is when the whore mom tells us what kind of special abilities the vaginas of the three women have. It's like watching a food program and it created some warmth and coziness in the room. Mm -hmm. Towards the end, Sex and Sen 3 imitates a Chinese torture chamber story. Then it's time for torture. I was in heaven and ready with my whip. Especially when a woman is spanked on her flat butt. That butt is flat so I don't want to think about how flat it was after getting a hard spanking. If you don't confess, we are going to spank your butt. You refuse? Hey boss, we have a problem. We can't see her butt. What do you mean? Come here, take a look. What is this shit? What's wrong with you, woman? Where's your butt? How can we spank your butt flat? When you don't have a butt. Oh man, this is a problem. But what we see from the trial feels like it's borrowed from a Chinese torture chamber story. Beat her, torture her, but please cover her flat butt. Do I recommend watching Sex and Sen 3? No, watch the first movie and forget about the rest of the movies in the series. The first movie has most of the things you want to see if you like crazy sex movies. The sequels are nowhere near the first movies in terms of creativity and madness. From 1 to 10 I give Sex and Sen 3 a 3 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And as usual, sleep well.